All right, and we've come up to some remnants from the past. Look at this, we have an, a long abandoned excavator. All right, welcome back to another hiking adventure. Today I am at the Wyndham Town Forest. I saw a point of interest on the trail map for this forest that whenever I see this particular feature on a trail map, I have to come check it out. Some of you probably know what it is. It is, of course, a named rock. <laughs> so we're gonna see that. There's also a few other points of interest. The rock will probably come up first. So we're gonna check this place out. It looks like a pretty cool place based on the trail map. So let's check it out. And we've come up to a bit of a babbling brook. Look at the walls on the side of this brook. This brook's starting to create the Grand Canyon here. It's like the mini canyon. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. It's eroding out the trees. This brook must flood easily. Look at that. Wow. All right, and I do believe this is our named rock right here because it is called Pyramid Rock. And hold on, if I back up a little, certainly uh, shaping up like a triangle. <laughs> oh, I'm always a little wary when <laughs> a, uh, a rock is named after something that it's supposed to look like after the job of the hut rock that we saw a couple of years ago that uh oh that gem of a named rock is this the rock i think this is the rock so what do you see <laughs> it's supposed to look like job of the hut although i will say that rock did look like moby dick from the other side <laughs> Now I think the Moby Dick side looks more like Moby Dick than the Job of the Hut side looked like Job of the Hut. Yeah, I can definitely see Moby Dick here. Oh no, that was funny. Alright, so there it is, Pyramid Rock for you. This one does look like what it's called. Which is nice. I'm sorry, that Job of the Hut Rock, that was that was a stretch, but this one does look like a pyramid. All right, so like I said, there's a couple of other features in this forest, some pretty interesting looking features, so we're gonna go check those out now. All right, and we've come up to some remnants from the past. Look at this, we have an, a long abandoned excavator power shovel whatever you want to call it, but this has been here for quite some time here, sitting in the swamp waters. This actually looks like a vernal pool here. It's interesting. There you go, there's the inside. Fortunately, I can't get up there and open the door because it's kind of swamped out here, but... Very interesting here. This has been here for a long, long time. Oh, it's good. And the front side. But there was a mine around here somewhere, mining something out of this forest. Very, very interesting. 
There's a look in there. And as we continue along, some more remnants likely tied to the excavator. A big wire here laying on the ground. You can see how long it's been here. It is right there, quite embedded into the ground. So it runs completely underground there. All right, so as I continue along the yellow trail, we are coming up to a point of interest on the trail map that was just labeled caves. Now I'm always a little skeptical when caves are put on the map, usually when they're like real caves, like big caves, they're usually left off the trail maps. And the ones, the caves that we've been to that were mentioned on the maps were basically glorified overhangs. So we'll see what happens, we'll see how they look. Well after scanning the side of the trail, this is the most cave-like entity. It is rather small. As we look in, this does look like a lot of the caves that we come across that are on the trail maps. Very small overhangs. As we look in, I wonder if it, I wonder if it does go under, like under these rocks afterward, because caves can do that. Start off small, then they open up later on. But I do believe that is our cave. There's a nice cliff face there. It's actually a bit of a ravine there. Very interesting. I do love these uh, rock cliffs that tend to pop up in these forests. All right, well, I hiked up to the top of the cliffs. Here's a view from the top looking down. It's kind of an interesting effect in there, that water with the trees in front of it and the trees reflecting in the water. It's kind of interesting on the camera. And just like that, I am back to Pyramid Rock, which is the boulder of the hike, by the way. I forgot to say that coming in, but that is the boulder of the hike, naturally, being the named rock. So that was the Wyndham Town Forest. I hope you enjoyed this hiking adventure. Thank you for watching.